Our next keynote speaker needs no introduction, of course, because um, you've always been here, Albert. Uh, please welcome Albert Kehre. He is director and co-founder of the Proud at Work Foundation. And Albert... <laughs> Albert is going to share his insights on navigating transitions and creating an inclusive environment for trans individuals in the workplace. And together with you, we're going to discover practical strategies to support our trans colleagues throughout the professional journeys. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, some of the stu stuff I'm going to tell you, you've just heard, um, but as we know from school, repetition is the key to remember things, okay? Um, so we at Proud of Work, we wrote a transition guide, basically, which companies can use to implement it in, the, in their organizations. And this is what I want to talk about. And the first slide you've seen before, 98% um, uh, um, of the trans people experience discrimination at the workplace, and only 23% of trans people are completely out at work, which is definitely not enough. Um, but the first number is too high and the second number is too low. This means companies have to be more aware and inclusive towards trans people. It's quite a simple message. But how to be trans inclusive? And we identified three layers um, for trans inclusiveness. And I start with the trans individuals. Um, they cannot expect that their company is ready for transitions. Most companies have not implemented any processes on this stuff. So they need to be ready to slow down and manage their own expectations with the speed of the process. Because once you realize that you're trans and you come out, then everything needs to go quickly. But your organization is not ready for it. So slow down your expectations, and then it works much smoother. And you need to also communicate your needs and the pace you wish for, meaning, Sometimes HR then wants to do everything within a second, and that's definitely too far, because you as an individual have the right to decide how slow the process goes, who's going to get the information about your coming out first, and all this stuff. The second layer we just heard is HR. They need to have all the processes ready, and this is what we wrote the transition guide for. They need to go beyond legal possibilities. There's always a leeway. You can stretch the law and go beyond of what's you know, legally allowed. They need to make the use of pronouns available for everybody, showing inclusiveness, that everybody can show inclusiveness. They need to provide solutions for unisex or gender-neutral toilets. And in Germany, we have this ridiculous law that companies have to have toilets for men and women but for nothing in between or nothing on top. Um, and some HR departments say, we have enough toilets. But nobody says you're not allowed to have more toilets, additional toilets. Why not? And if you have uni uniforms at work, make unisex uniforms available and let your employees choose the style they want to wear. If someone we read as a man wants to wear a skirt, then why not? Let them do it. And you see the dots, there are many more hints and tips we have in our um, guide. And now I come to the third layer. It's the teams, it's the managers, it's you know the people who work with the trans person. You need to accompany, as HR, the teams during the transition process. They need to be educated as well to, on, to be onboarded um, and to, that they understand the trans topic. Because it sometimes comes out of the blue for them, they've never met a trans person, and you need to educate them as well. And you need to provide educational material and, if possible, personal exchange with a trans person. If the relevant trans person is not able or willing to do it, then find someone else in your company or find a trans organization who, you know, comes into the teams and shares their experiences on this topic. We believe that you need, a, you need to create a safe space for trans people. 
And we've seen those numbers. Um, it's just here upside down. But as you can see, especially in Germany, people are least comfortable with HR. But HR is the most important part in the transition process. They are involved in most of the paperwork. They are the key holder to all sensitive data. They are process owner of all HR processes and the COE for the most HR-related IT processes. So they need to support the transition. They need to be trained and really be an ally for trans people. And we also very much believe in the LGBT ERGs. They also need to be as supportive as possible. And some nowadays are unfortunately not supportive anymore. Um, but they need to communicate trans inclusive that if someone wants to come out as a trans person, that they know they can come to the ERG to get help. And they also need to plan events with trans topics to educate all members of staff on this topic. But overall, trans support needs to be on every level and every company field. You need to think, how do you say it in English? You need to think about the trans topic like LGBT topic and any diversity topic in any process, in any things you change, structures you change in the company. Because there are so many bits and pieces where this is relevant. Um, it's not just changing an email, um, that you have to think about it all the time. Our recommendation is don't wait until you are asked to help. So start implementing a transcate now and not when someone comes out. Um, offer solutions in advance. Um, and if you can't, you know, if you don't have anything in advance, it, in advance, then at least offer to work together towards a perfect transition process. Usually trans people are quite willing and quite pra pragmatic if they see there's someone willing to help them. But you need to have the right attitude for it. And I think, oh no, this is my last slide. Um, basically my advertising slide. And um, this is how our trans guide looks like. If you want to download it, you find it on our web page. It's so far, unfortunately, only available in German because it's only focused on German law. But we will translate it as well. It has everything in it you need to create a transition guide for your company. Thank you very much.